Aloha, Bridge Kids. That means hello in Hawaiian. Happy Sunday, Miss Lindsay here. I am so excited to get started on our island theme summer series, Ohana. Ohana means family. And one of God's greatest gifts to us is family. In this series, we're gonna learn all about what God wants for our families and how we can be part of his family. It's going to be so much fun, it's gonna be awesome, and I can't wait to get started. But before we do, let's go over all of our island rules. All right, Bridge Kids, our island rules are simple, just like life on the island. Number one, be kind. Number two, be safe. And most importantly, number three, have fun. All right, Bridge Kids, you ready? Let's go. What better way to start our service than with some worship? So it's time to stand up, dance, get those wiggles out, and worship. I want to hear you sing along with the words on the screen. Clap your hands. Come on, let's praise Jesus together. Everybody rock it on your feet. 
I say promise, you say maker, promise, maker, promise, maker. I say promise, you say keeper, promise, keeper, promise, keeper. I say promise, you say maker, promise, maker, promise, maker. I say promise, you say keeper, promise, keeper, promise, keeper. It says he's with me. I know he'll always be a promise maker, promise keeper. He says he loves me. I know he'll always be a promise maker, promise keeper. He says he's with me. I know he'll always be a promise maker, promise keeper. He says he loves me. I know he'll always be a promise maker, promise keeper. Great job worshiping and dancing, Road Crew. You guys are really getting good at those moves. Our need to know today is God wants my family to get along. Our Bible story is about two brothers named Jacob and Esau. And let me tell you, they do not get along. But before I give too much of the story away, let's check in with our island friends. Aloha, friends. I'm Loggy, and this is the one and only Lodo. Aloha! What is all this ruckus? You guys are sounding crabby. And for what reason? Fighting is for the birds. Or the crabs. There's a story in the Bible of two brothers who did not get along. I'm the best. No, I am. Urgh. They weren't your normal kind of brothers. They were twins, but they didn't really look alike. Esau was born with red hair all over his body, and Jacob's skin was smooth. They didn't really have anything in common. Esau, the older brother, loved to hunt, and the younger brother Jacob loved to stay at home and cook. As the oldest son, Esau was given the birthright of the family. That meant that the family's land... Where are we on this thing? The family's money, 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 money. And all of his father's belongings would be his one day. This'll be mine. And this, and this, and this, and this, all mine. One day, Jacob was at home cooking. Oh yeah, this is good, but it needs more salt. And after a long day of hunting, Esau came in and asked for some stew. He was so hungry, he felt like he was going to starve to death. So hungry, must eat, dying. That's when Jacob got a very tricky idea. Aha! Jacob really wanted his brother's birthright, so he tricked Esau into trading it for a bowl of stew. Sure enough, Jacob got what he wanted. Mwahahaha! The land? Mine! The family's money? Mine. And all of the father's belongings. Mine. As the boys got older, their father Isaac could no longer see. Is that you? I can't see. The time had come for him to give his oldest son Esau the blessing before he died. Now Esau had already given up his birthright, but the blessing was a special gift just for him. Rebecca, the boy's mother, wanted Jacob to receive the blessing and not Esau. It wasn't the right thing to do, but Rebecca came up with a plan to trick the boy's father into giving the blessing to Jacob instead of Esau. Aha! While Esau was away hunting, she dressed Jacob in Esau's clothes so he would smell like Esau. <laughs> Woo! Then she put fur on Jacob's arms so he would feel hairy like Esau. That should do the trick. Rebecca knew that because Isaac couldn't see, he would feel and smell his son to make sure he was giving the blessing to Esau. When Jacob went into his father's room, Isaac smelled his clothes and felt his hairy arms. It's me, father. You're very hairy. Smelly son Esau. Isaac began to believe that Jacob was Esau. And without knowing he was wrong, he gave the blessing that should have gone to Esau to Jacob. I'll be taking that. When Esau came in from hunting, he went in to see his father for the blessing, but it was too late. Esau was furious and threatened to kill Jacob because he was so mad. 
Jacob knew that Esau meant business, so he packed up and moved away in fear for his life. Uh-oh, time to hit the road. Jacob wanted something that belonged to his brother, and it caused a lot of fighting between the two of them. The Bible talks about the reason we fight and argue. It sure does. It says, do you know where your fights and arguments come from? You want things, but you don't get them. So you argue and fight. You don't get what you want because you don't ask God. There are things that God will give us if we simply ask Him. We don't need to fight or lie or hurt the people in our family to get them because God, God wants families to get along. In our Bible story today, we saw two brothers who did not get along. Sometimes we can let our jealousy over what our brothers and sisters have get the best of us. But God wants everyone in our families to get along. And that's what we need to know today. Let's say it together. God wants my family to get along. Our memory verse this series is probably one of my favorites because it talks about how we are to love others. It comes from the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 10 and it says this, love each other as brothers and sisters and honor others more than you do yourself. It's a really good one. So let's repeat it after me. Love each other as brothers and sisters and honor others more than you do yourself. Romans 12, 10. Great job, road crew. Do you know what it means to honor someone? It means to show respect or it means to show love that's not always deserved. And it's so important that we look at every single person on this earth as our brothers and sisters in Christ, because we share a heavenly father. We are all one giant Ohana. Bridge kids, I hope you enjoyed today's need to know as much as I did. Like I said earlier, one of God's greatest gifts to us is Ohana. Did you know that we are all one big giant Ohana? That's right, together we are all one big family. Even though we don't live in the same home and share parents, all have the same color skin, look alike, speak the same language, we're all different. But because of God, we are all one big giant Ohana. So I couldn't think of a better way to celebrate than to sing a song all about Ohana. So let's stand up, let's sing together, and let's thank God for his gift of Ohana. Father, good, good Father, and we're all his sons and daughters. We are brothers, we are sisters, we are family. We can always stick together, though we're different from each other. We are brothers, we are sisters, we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. God loves me and God loves you. In His family there is room for our brothers, for our sisters. We are family. Let's forgive and get along, cause together we are strong. We are brothers, we are sisters, we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. Not perfect, but you'll see that we are 
perfect, but you'll see that we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family.